So very very good evening class. Today is class of the MCQ class twelve of the UG Senate Paper two Mass Communication and Journalism. So here are having uh, we are having the questions. So we will start from the one one number questions. That is one hundred eleven number questions. So identify the correct sequence of phases of the communication process. It is very much important question, and this question has already been asked in the two thousand fourteen paper too, right? In the year two thousand fourteen paper two, this question has been asked. So identify the correct sequence of the phases of the communication process. So you might be aware about the phases of communication process. So here the options are level of ac acceptance, understanding, reception, transmissions of cognitive data. Okay. So understanding le level of acceptance. as well as transmission of cognitive data and receptions everybody will answer very important questions so here like this c options and d it is here everybody please answer the correct one which one is more appropriate according to the phases of the communication process you have to arrange in a sequence theek hai jaldi se batayenge very important yes so here the right answer it is d d is the right answer so how you are answering the b b is the d is the right answer very good so see we know that we have already read the encoder sender message channel receiver decoder and all like that right so here that you can notice one thing here it is about the transmission of the cognitive data cognitive it is your word the that it comes in your mind right yes the memory you just encode encoding that encoding process this is what the encoding process the in the sender right so this is what the transmission of the cognitive data that encoding the message that what you want to say right what you want to persuade to the receivers so this is what about the encoding transmission of cognitive data means encoding okay so this is the first step reception it is your masses right this is the masses reception it is your masses masses receptions you are designing the masses after that it is about the understanding and the level of acceptance right so this is about the level of acceptance it is it is in the receivers right it is in the receiver so it will definitely at the end okay so i start from the transmission of the cognitive data to the receptions and understanding then level of acceptance okay so in this way we can understand the different phases of the communication process so phase 1 it is transmission of cognitive data phase 2 reception phase 3 understanding and phase 4 is the level of acceptance that is what the receivers right at the end side of the uh, communication process so the aim of communication to transmit information from one person to another so that sender and receivers understand the message in the same way so each communication process out from the six phases that is ideas right so that is what basically that ideas and encoding then signal decoding meaning and that is feedback okay so this is what the phases of the communication process everybody is clear jaldi se batayenge it is clear to everybody yes absolutely next the question 112 it is here about the newspapers that launched during the freedom movement jo freedom movement ke dauran jo launch hua newspapers uske aapka following newspapers hai usko sequence mein arrange karna hai so dikdarshan bangdut samachar darpan samvad ka modi okay so i think there is no need of the options one option it is enough you can arrange it well right because we have already discussed hum logo ne discuss kar liya hai so if anybody can answer then please answer okay about the this question very much important digdarshan samachar darpan and samvad komodi we has we have already discussed in the previous classes the only the new thing is about here the bangdut okay chaliye so yahan par sabhi log batayenge jaldi se batayenge digdarshan ka bangdut ka samachar darpan ka aur samvad komodi ka okay everybody so b is the option here c is the option here and d everybody answer it which one is more appropriate jaldi se answer karenge 6 seconds is left 5 second 
everybody answer it very important questions according to the launching during the freedom movement yes so correct answer here it is d d is the correct answer very good absolutely bahut sabhi logon ne sahi answer kiya so here it is about the digdarshan was the first monthly periodical of the bengal in the bengal language ठीक है बंगला लैंग्वेज विच वॉज स्टार्ट बाय द सीरमपुर यस मंजू हैज आंसर्ड हियर लाइक द दिग्दर्शन दैट इज 1818 समाचार दर्पण यस वेरी गुड दैट इज समाचार दर्पण दैट इज मे 1818 राइट संवाद कमोदी इट इज ऑल इट इज 1820 वन राइट वेरी गुड बंगदू दैट इज 1829 ये आपका ईयर वाइज है सो प्लीज अंडरस्टैंड एंड रिमेम्बर इट दिग दर्शन इज द फर्स्ट मंथली पीरियोडिकल ऑफ द बंगाली न्यूज पेपर्स ओके दैट वॉज स्टार्टेड बाय द सीरमपुर बाप्टिस्ट मिशन ओके दैट इज इन द अप्रिल एटीन एटीन ओके प्लीज रिमेम्बर दिस न्यूज पेपर वेरी मच इंपॉर्टेंट ओके सिमिलरली द समाचार दर्पण दैट Bengali weekly newspaper that also published in the May eighteen eighteen by the same the Baptist Missionary Society, Samvad Komodi that by the Raja Ram Mohan Rai. Okay, Bengali newspaper from the Kolkata, and Bangdut is also the newspaper by the Raja Ram Mohan Rai in the year eighteen twenty nine. Okay, it is all clear. Everybody, jaldi se batayenge. Very important. न्यूज पेपर से सवाल हमेशा पूछे जाते हैं तो जितने न्यूज पेपर है वो सारी चीजें आप ध्यान रखेंगे सो so प्लीज अगर आप लोग आंसर दे सकते हैं तो प्लीज आंसर दीजिए ये स्टडी वी है फर्स्ट ओडिया लैंग्वेज न्यूज पेपर एवरीबडी ये स्टडी वी है फर्स्ट ओडिया लैंग्वेज न्यूज पेपर यस वेरी गुड दैट इज उत्कल दीपिका यस उत्कल दीपिका 1866 वेरी गुड बहुत ही सुंदर वेरी गुड रचना टेंडल एवरीबडी चलिए बहुत ही सुंदर सो नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इट इज हेयर वन वन थ्री आइडेंटिफाई द क्रोनोलॉजिकल ऑर्डर ऑफ द इंटरनेशनल रेडियो स्टेशन दैट वेर लॉन्च आज क्रोनोलॉजिकल सिक्वेंस क्वेश्चन बहुत है सो आइडेंटिफाई द करेक्ट क्रोनोलॉजिकल ऑर्डर that international radio stations everybody that were launched bbc voice of america radio moscow united nations radio please answers karenge b c and last one that is d everybody answer international radio stations Four seconds more. Yes. So here the right answer absolutely here the right answer it is C. C जो है क्या है आपका right answer है absolutely very good marvelous answer everybody has given the right answers nobody has here given the wrong one okay चलिए so BBC स बताए बताते चलेंगे आप लोग यस बताते चलेंगे एवरीबडी बीबीसी का ईयर बताइए यस नाइनटीन ट्वेंटी टू रेडियो मॉस्को रेडियो मॉस्को प्लीज नोट इट डाउन हेयर द एक्सप्लेनेशन में आप लोग ढूंढिए और बताइए रेडियो मॉस्को प्लीज रीड द एक्सप्लेनेशन केयरफुली एंड फाइंड इट हेयर रेडियो मॉस्को द लास्ट सेकेंड लाइन 1929 yes absolutely very good voice of america everybody please find it it is the good practice to remember yes 1942 united nations radio 1946 absolutely so write it the year year is very much important bbc 1922 by the john reed okay very much important it is the bbc stands for british broadcasting corporation it is the national broadcaster of the uk united kingdom okay 
which was founded in the 1922 very much important so john rith is associated with they can ask you the questions john rith is associated with which of the international radio stations everybody yes bbc so this is also the questions okay they may ask you so john rith is associated with which one of the following international radio stations they will uh, give you the options of the international radio stations so again questions here which one among the following is the first international radio stations everybody bbc right yes so they can ask you from anywhere so it is very much important to remember from each and every sides okay so next it is about the voice of america so voice of america it is an state owned international radio broadcasters these all are the international radio broadcaster please remember so if anybody ask you that uh, list or please make the list of the international radio stations so these all four radio stations are the international radio stations okay so voice of america voice of america it is an state owned international radio broadcaster of the united states okay it was established in the 1942 and who control or who overseen by us agency of the global media that is usagm it is an independent agency of the united states okay remember it so it is very much important it is controlled or overseen by the us agency for the global media okay and it is it is an independent agency of the united states government so next it is about the radio moscow radio moscow it is also uh, it was also of official international broadcasting station of the ussr okay that was founded in the 1929 russia okay it is also known as the voice of it has been renamed okay it is not the radio moscow now it has been renamed it is now known as voice of russia okay voice of russia it is now known as or radio moscow it was till 1993 it was closed down in the year 1993 it was started in the 1929 but it, it was closed down in the 1993 and it renamed the voice of russia now it is known as voice of russia or cheeze achhi tarike se it has been reinaugurated okay chaliye united uh, nations radio it is a united nations radio this is also international radio stations which was created on the 13th of february 1946 and you know that 13 february which day is celebrated everybody jaldi se batayenge yes that is world radio day very good world radio day is celebrated on 13th of february next questions 114 okay so you can take the hint from the photographs also it is about the distinct zones in the relations to body language right it is about distinct zones in the relations to body language if i ask you what are the distinct zones in the relations to body language then what it will be everybody kya kya hoga please write it write it the distinct zones in the relations to body language and it is known as proxemics okay here it is the yes intimate personal and social and public very good this is about the distance okay so here is the option it is given to you personal zone intimate zone public zone social zone so you have to identify the order of the distinct zones in the relations to body language please jaldi se batayenge b options c options and the last that is d time starts now everybody everybody answer because it is very much simple and very informative yes very good C or option it is the right one. C जो है आपका right one है. So you can see the pictures here that it is written here also the intimate, personal, social and public. Okay. So this is intimate one that is beloved one or the which is very much close to us. Okay. So personal zone that is about 
the it you can say the handshake okay we do the handshake that the persons can be considered as an personal zone okay social zone jo hota hai that is you can say that the jo aapki society ke log hote hain aur aap padosi bhi keh sakte ho cheeze so that they all are the this personal zone it is in the friend zone okay so social zone then after it is the public zone okay so the, here the different different distance it is given to you so intimate that is 0 to 2 feet okay personal zone that is 2 to 4 feet social zone that is 4 to 12 feet and public that is more than 12 feet okay so next question it is about the sizes of the newspaper everybody if a newspaper is of 600 into 380 mm it is known as jaldi se batayenge kaun sa newspaper very good absolutely very good so here the right answer it is no options are here it is that is tabloid size standard size broadsheet size and non standard size those who have not answered please answer very important and simple questions if a newspaper is of 600 into 380 mm it is known as of the right answer here it is that is broadsheet very good broadsheet newspaper wo kaun sa newspaper hota hai broadsheet newspaper hota hai absolutely so broadsheet newspaper the size is that uh, this 600 mm into 380 mm so they can confuse you right so sometimes they will uh, give you in inches right so aapko inches bhi yaad rakhna hai aur aapko mm bhi yaad rakhna hai okay so in the inches that is here 23.5 into 15 inches okay this is the broadsheet and if it is in the mm it is 600 into 380 mm okay please remember the size of the broadsheet okay now next it is about the tabloid size newspapers okay so tabloid size this is in inches and as well as mm here so in inches that is 17 into 11 and mm that is 432 into 279 mm okay clear hai everybody please remember this in the both measurement units that is inches and mm okay clear hai jaldi se batayenge yes very good chaliye next questions ki taraf badhte hain 116 here another name for the filler copy is filler copy ka dusra naam kya hai casual copy b time copy c hard copy and d slug copy everybody very important questions this is from the terminology this is from the terminology another name for the filler copy filler copy kise bolte hain very important questions one liner questions yes so that's the right answer here that is b b jo hota hai time copy okay so filler copy kisko kehte hain ji filler copy kehte hain usko jahan par jab aapki newspaper mein when it is in the newspaper right at the end of the time when empty spaces are there right when empty spaces are there at that time we fill we fill the spaces by the quotations we fill the spaces by the articles crossword puzzles recipes unusual facts cartoons in sab cheezon se hum kya karte hain rikt sthanon ko bhar dete hain we fill in the blanks okay that is what the filler copy at the end of the time if the spaces are empty in the newspapers that spaces are filled okay that is called the filler copy and what are the things that we filled quotations article crossword puzzles recipes unusual facts and cartoons and etc okay so this is what the filler copy that used to fill in the blank spaces in the newspaper okay so why it is known as time copy now the next question it is so time copy isliye bolte hain because at the time of the deadline of the publications fillers are used to fill the empty spaces simply 
okay so this is can be this can be from the assertion region questions also okay ye assertion region se bhi questions aapke liye ho sakta hai very much important so this is what the region it is given here so they can ask you that everybody another name for filler copy is the time copy okay and region they will give you because yes at the time of deadline right at the time of deadline of publications right fillers are used to fill the mpta spaces right so they can ask you like this so what will be the answer here both a and r is true both a and r true and r is the correct explanation of a a is false r is true r is false a is true kya hoga answer everybody second one or the first one you know the patterns of the questions right the options it is fixed yes both are correct and correct explanations yes absolutely so here the what will be the answer both a and r is true and r is the correct explanations of a so you have to also understand that why it is called time copy okay time copy kyun bolte hain this region you should also know because at the time of the deadline of the publications fillers are used to fill the mpt spaces that's why we called as the time copy okay clear hai everybody sabhi logo ko clear hai yes so this was all about that we have discussed in the mcq classes now it's time for the subjective questions okay now it's time for the subjective questions to discuss so some of the subjective questions will also be discussed along with the along with the mcq questions okay chaliye so pehla questions everybody bbc bbc main revenue source for a long time was everybody आंसर दीजिए एवरीबडी बीबीसी का लॉन्ग टाइम के लिए मेन सोर्स रेवेन्यू क्या था मेन रेवेन्यू सोर्स क्या था एवरीबडी एवरीबडी विल आंसर वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन दिस क्वेश्चन हैज ऑलरेडी बिन आस्ड इन द यूजीसी नीट जून 2012 ओके सभी लोग बताएंगे जल्दी बताएंगे वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन इतना टाइम नहीं चलिए कोई बात नहीं सो आंसर इट इज अबाउट licensing fee okay licensing fee was the main resources right it was the main revenue resources for the bbc license dene ka kaam license ka ke upar jo fee lagta tha okay jo lagta hai aaj bhi wo bbc uska main revenue hai right it is clear question it is clear to you jaldi se batayenge yes absolutely so when next question it is here when yuva wani program was started yuva wani program was started kab start hua everybody when yuva wani program was started and who was started nahi 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 who was started it was during the emergency period mein tha theek hai aap log isko dhyan rakhenge just yuva wani program was started that time Indira Gandhi yes very good so year that is 1973 okay 1973 is the year okay please note it down next question it is about what was the region it is what was the region for sharp decline sharp decline in the popularity of the yuvawani popularity of yuva wani program everybody what was the main reason what was the prime reason for the sharp decline in the popularity of the yuva wani program kya reason tha everybody what was the main reason that yuva wani program that was broadcasted on all india radio and that has been declined it was very much popular when it was launched 
but it has been declined. So what was the reason for the sharp decline in the popularity of the Yuvavani program? Very important questions. So they can ask you directly also and in the form of assertion region questions also. Jaldi se batayenge. Chale, hint dete hai. No hint. चलिए कोई बात नहीं आंसर्स आंसर्स देखिए व्हाट वाज द रीजन रीजन जो था क्या एक बार थोड़ा सा दिमाग लगाएंगे इट वाज द मेनली रीजन दैट वाज रैपिड स्प्रेड ऑफ रैपिड स्प्रेड ऑफ एफएम चैनल्स ओके एफएम चैनल का ज्यादातर से बहुत तेजी से फैलाव होने के कारण यो अनी प्रोग्राम का डिक्लाइन होना शुरू हो गया राइट एफएम चैनल्स दैट रैपिड Spread of FM channels was the only region to sharp decline in the popularity of the Yuvavani program. It is all clear. Rachna Varnika, Tindal, it is all clear. Manju. Next question, sir, it is here. Yes, absolutely. So, who is known as who is known as founder of founder of the international Association of International Association for Media and Communication Research. Everybody who is known as the founder of the International Association for Media and Communication Research. ये नहीं बता पाएंगे चलिए नोट डाउन जेम्स हेलोरेन ओके जेम्स हेलोरेन इज नॉन एज द फाउंडर ऑफ द इंटरनेशनल एसोसिएशन फॉर द मीडिया एंड कम्युनिकेशन रिसर्च प्लीज नोट इट डाउन जेम्स हेलोरेन नेक्स्ट नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इट इज योर अनदर नेम Another name of Uddant Martand. Everybody. Another name for of Uddant Martand ka dusra naam batayenge. Uddant Martand. What we called in English? Yes, very good. Absolutely, very good. That the rising sun. ओके चलिए क्वेश्चन नंबर सिक्स व्हेन एंड वेयर एफएम ब्रॉडकास्टिंग बिगेन जल्दी से बताएंगे व्हेन एंड वेयर द एफएम ब्रॉडकास्टिंग बिगेन कहां शुरू हुआ Yes, very good, Tendal. Answer Chennai. And in the year, Chennai in the year, nineteen seventy-seven. Very good. 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 नेम द इंडिया यस अभिलाषा नेक्स्ट इज जलंधर बहुत ही सुंदर इंडिया फर्स्ट प्राइवेट रेडियो स्टेशन एवरीबडी इंडिया फर्स्ट प्राइवेट रेडियो स्टेशन जल्दी से बताएंगे इंडिया का पहला प्राइवेट रेडियो स्टेशन Very good, Varnika. So that's the Radio City, Bangalore. Okay, note it down. बहुत ही सुंदर. Question number eight. Since when All India Radio is officially known as Akashwani? Officially known as आकाशवाणी 
everybody since when all india radio is officially known as akashwani yes those who are guessing it she is absolutely right guess kijiye those who are guessing she is absolutely right so what will be the answer yes the answer it is 1956 very good question number 9 when all india radio was established air established in the year 19 जल्दी से बताएंगे नाइनटीन थर्टी ओके नाइनटीन थर्टी और नाइनटीन थर्टी सिक्स ऑल इंडिया रेडियो वॉज इस्टेब्लिश इन दर प्लीज नोट इट डाउन जस्ट करेक्ट इट है ओके यस एवरीबडी सेइंग 1936 चलिए इस बार एक इसको देख लीजिएगा एक बार आप लोग मुझे लगता है 1936 ही है सो जस्ट मेक श्योर ओके यस 1936 एवरीबॉडी सेइंग 1936 सो इट्स 1936 चलिए वेरी गुड चलिए क्वेश्चन नंबर टेन फर्स्ट उर्दू न्यूज़पेपर एवरीबॉडी फर्स्ट उर्दू न्यूज़पेपर हु फाउंडेड एंड वेन एंड वेयर फर्स्ट उर्दू न्यूज Three questions are here. Jam something. <laughs> Jam something. Okay. चलिए. Write it. Write it. Write it. Jam I Juhan Numa. Okay. Jam I Juhan Numa. Right. Yes. Jam I Juhan Numa. By the and who and who was the founder? Jam I Juhan Numa was the. Uh, first urdu newspaper and founder yes very good by the hariyar datta okay hariyar datta in the year 1822 yes yes very good and uh, that was published in the kolkata okay chali so ye question number 10 tha aapka so i think we have covered a lot of things so i think it is it's enough for for today's to discuss so let's about the summarization part summarization part mein aate hain aur thoda slowly slowly chaliye number 1 sari cheeze pure detail mein batayenge theek hai everybody about the summarizations now start it what you have learned today so what are the topics that you have covered in the mcq classes today chali time copy and filler copy okay yes urdu newspaper jamai johanuma urdu newspaper first urdu newspaper yes very good all india radio that was established in the year 1936 also about the sizes of the newspaper brought it very good also that another name for the udant martand the rising sun yes why bbc from where the major uh, source revenue that is bbc sources main sources revenue that is licensing fee also about the yuvani program okay the sharp decline of the yuvani program by the fm radio okay yes radio moscow very good also that we have discussed about james halloram communication and media research founders yes radio day body language distances di different different distances of the yes in terms of the zones also the body language yes very good the phases of the communication transmission of the cognitive data and all okay 
yes utkal dipika that we have revised this the first odia language newspaper very good bangdut ke bare mein as naya information mila bangdut that the newspaper that established in the 1829 very good yes the reason for the decline of the yuvani program yes that was the growth of the fm radio stations right very good also the communication phases we have discussed okay communication phases humne discuss kiya hai radio city bangalore yes the first radio city bangalore bahut hi sundar chaliye aur kya kya tha is any more thing that we have left i think yes we have all covered licensing fee we have covered the licensing fee yes the major source revenue for the bbc okay licensing fee here we have discussed about the licensing fee also okay also we have discussed about the voice of america okay what was the all international radio stations jaldi se naam batayenge bbc voice of america and voice of russia okay that russia moscow moscow russia theek hai also the united un radio yes very good so ye sare years bhi aapko yaad rakhne hain right united nations radio so establishment years very much important please note it down all the things okay so i think we have covered the 20 and 20 plus topics that we have covered from the mcq classes today okay so yes so i think each and every topic it is clear is is there any topic koi aisa topic hai jahan par aapko clear nahi hua itne sare 20 topics mein it's about the 20 20 topics that we have covered today in the mcq classes is there any persons who has having any doubt in the any of the topic koi doubt hai kisi bhi topic mein then please ask chaliye bahut hi sundar so thank you to everybody that we have covered a lot of the topics in the today's class similarly isi tarike se hum क्लासेस करते रहेंगे और टॉपिक्स कवर करते रहेंगे और ये सारे एमसीयू के क्लासेस जो है प्रीवियस ईयर क्वेश्चन हैं ठीक है सो थैंक यू टू एवरीबॉडी थैंक यू सो मच